What do you write? Letters, emails, poems, blogs. We all write something. Writing is an important part of our everyday life. Who invented writing? Why did we start to write? Counting came first. At first, we wanted to record the number of things we had, such as animals or fruit trees. The Ishango bone is 22,000 years old. It is covered in marks to count numbers or units. But how did marks for numbers become marks for language? Why did we start writing? Long ago, people started to move around and trade between villages. They needed ways to store information. People wanted to write their ideas and learn from others. They wanted to know who owed them money. The development of writing was a big step in our change from a farming society to one that allowed us to live in groups, towns, and cities. With writing, we could say anything and write it down for others to read hundreds or thousands of years later. We could write our history. Picture systems. The earliest writing systems were pictures of things and events, which represented ideas. The Egyptian writing system, hieroglyphics, is one such example. The Egyptians wrote in pictures, not words. Some pictures represented words, and others represented sounds. The problem. The problem was that there were too many pictures. Only a few people could remember the thousands of pictures. We needed a better way to connect our spoken language to writing. Sounds and symbols. Writing systems were developed to write down a spoken sound and turn it into a picture, symbol, character, or letter of the alphabet for people to read. For example, we know that the sound f in phone is written ph, and t in tomato is written t. Cuneiform writing. The Egyptians and the Sumerians developed their writing systems at about the same time. Cuneiform, the Sumerian writing system, began as pictures but changed over time. The Sumerians cut marks into a clay tablet using a small tool. They would make the marks in the clay when it was wet. Then the tablet was baked in the sun until dry. Cuneiform writing allowed people to say many things clearly. It developed to the point that people even started to write poems. Other systems. Chinese writing also used pictures at first, but over time the pictures became Chinese characters, which spread across Asia to Japan, Vietnam, and Korea, for example. The Arabic alphabet has 25 consonants and three vowels. It also has small marks for additional vowel sounds. In Arabic, a single dot or small mark makes a big difference. The Korean writing system has a mixture of sounds and mouth positions. There is a character for each sound, but the characters are put together in syllabic units. Thai is a tonal language with five tones. The writing system uses small marks to show these sound changes. The Japanese writing system has three main scripts hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Spanish, French, and German all use the Roman alphabet, but in slightly different ways. The future. Today we have many writing systems.
But how will our writing systems look a hundred years from now? Will we have many languages, or will there be only one?